guys, it's Miss Lambert, and today we're going to be talking about using green screen in Camtasia. So we're going to open up our Camtasia. I'm going to go to File, New Project, and I'm going to make my screen big so I can see what's going on. I am going to import my media, so everything from my backgrounds to what I recorded on the green screen to any audio I might want. So typically I'll go to import media if it's on my computer or save to a USB flash drive or something like that. If it's saved to my Google Drive, I can go straight to import from Google Drive and sign in to my um, SCC PSS account and, and load from there. So I'm gonna pull some media off of my computer and I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a background. I'm gonna pick out my music. I can hold down command to select more than one and I'm going to go down and select my green screen file. And I'll just import those files. Now, I am going to pull in my background, put that on a track. I'm going to pull in what I filmed on the green screen. And then I'm going to take the audio as well and put that on a separate track. Let's see if I can step this up, set that up. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go to Video Effects, choose Remove a Color, making sure that I have the file I want to green screen selected. Drag Remove a Color onto that file. And I can now go to Menu, open up my menu, select my color and notice how the background immediately popped up. So since I only want this young man pictured, I'm going to go to crop and resize that file, turn off crop, I'm going to go to my background, resize it so it fits the screen. So I can move him around as much as I want to. Notice I can even hit Control C, which is copy, Control V, and paste. And so now there are two of them. Say I want them to dance together, I can go over to rotate. And I can make him go up and down. Or I can flip him around so it's mirror images. So I'm going to rotate that one a little bit. Just make it kind of fun. And this is where headroom comes in very handy. When we fill them on the green screen without headroom, then we end up getting this chopped head and it looks awkward once you put it on a background. So be sure to be aware of your headroom. I'm going to size this so his legs go to the end of the screen. And I'm gonna go down to my music, I'm gonna move my playhead. I'm going to split my music and delete the rest of that so I have a short file. So see how I have some lines here and here? I can go in and I can up change my tolerance to try and get rid of some of those lines. I can change my softness. I can work with my hue. And I can also defringe, which is the edges. I'll do the same for this one. Work with the defringe a little bit, get rid of that edge. All right, so let's see what we have. Super groovy. So that's the end of that. I'm going to split it delete any extras, you split all, delete that, delete this. I'm going to leave my music just a little bit, but what I can do is go back to my music and just extend it. I'm going to go to transitions. I'm going to drop a fade in and out on everything so it looks nice and smooth and clean. And then I'm going to do an audio fade in and out as well. So once again, quite 
quite easy. Have a great day.